what's going on youtube hope everyone's staying safe hope everyone's staying healthy uh right now if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to this channel click to turn notifications on click that little bell in the corner and you'll be notified every time i upload um so a couple things i want to talk about uh you know the title of this is you know cod 2021 is going to be bad and you know i and numerous other content creators are saying the same thing and here's the reason why so a little while ago um bobby kodak the ceo of activision pulled all of their he made an announcement saying that all of their other um studios that make other games for activision you know games like uh crash bandicoot and uh of the like well they're all getting pulled um from their native projects to kind of focus on warzone and this is why that's a bad idea too many minds collab collaborating on one uh single project their ideas are going to clash and you know this is why in school you know in elementary and you know middle school and sometimes high school when you have you know group projects and everything uh and your teacher limits how many people can be in a group yeah um that's the that's the main reason why uh you know they limit how many people go in because too many minds collaborating can you know be a bad thing uh you know we don't it's probably a bad example but you know it's sort of the same thing you know too many minds collaborating on one i one you know project uh this project being warzone um when an idea gets put out they're going to think a, a studio is going to think their idea is really, you know, well worth it. And of course, why wouldn't you want to back up your own kind of work? Um, and, you know, you know, same thing with another company. But when they put their idea out, it goes against yours or this other company's and they're going to collide and nothing's going to get done. And what that entails is there's not going to be enough developers out there um, putting in bug updates or you know small little updates here and there um so that's why this is a bad idea um and, and you know many people including a couple of other developers think that they should sit back take this year off don't put out another call of duty and just focus on modern warfare and cold war and uh warzone uh put out more updates because these games these you know, past two day, uh, two two games they released, uh, Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War. They are very well put together games, and they can you know be something really big, but with less, uh, you know, the more, um, I lost my turn of thought. But the more, uh, you know, you get what I'm saying though. The more developers on one little project you know the worse that that project's gonna end up being uh sometimes simpler is better and in this case you know simpler is definitely the way to go uh i think they're making a really big mistake um now the only other thing that i think could make you know cod 2021 um any better is uh you know when they get out of this pandemic and everything they get back to the office because a lot of people are also saying well cod cold war was made in the pandemic right um you know and and you know it's we can't take away the fact that we are all inside of this pandemic and we can't go to our respective workplaces. We can't hold respective meetings like we normally would and should for things to be, you know, up to par. But sometimes simpler is better. Meaning, I don't like hiring. It's the same reason why I don't like hiring, you know, an editor for anything uh, or hiring an artist for anything. When it's made with my idea, I know what I want. I know what I want to put out, what kind of content I want to release. And my Apple Watch just went off. But um, that's the kind of content I want to release. Um, I know it's up to par. I know, you know, everything is how I want to release it. So when, you know, one company such as Treyarch wants to focus on the Black Ops series, you know, they know how to release it. They know what the Black Ops series needs and 
you know what would make it a good idea so having a bunch of other the all these other studios come in on one uh one game that's a really bad idea you know have the studios work on their own respective games because they know what the game needs best they know what fits best with it it's like having nintendo try to release a uh a call of duty it, it wouldn't be very well because nintendo is very family friendly and uh, a lot of their you know and respectively they have been moving up but you know you know what i'm saying it's like halo the bungie studios it's like they're trying to uh release the next uh call of duty you know it would be space like see what i'm saying it, it wouldn't be up to par with what we're all used to so have the respective studios work on their own respective games don't try to mix and match and have you know have all of your team work on this one thing because it's just not going to feel right it's not going to play how everyone expects it and when you do that you're going to lose your fan base your player base and you know it's not going to be good now respectively yes they have sold very well but when you look at the sales for cold war the game sold very well digitally and the reason why uh the game sold well digitally is because well we live in a pandemic right about now everything's being sold digitally uh you know people are pre-ordering their games uh, digitally they don't want to go in and you know access physical media and even before the pandemic physical media started to disappear and become more digital so yeah when you're looking at your digital sales it's going to sell relatively well over the physical media just because of where we're at in the pandemic but before we get over there uh you know i'm running out of time on this video so if you can make sure to uh like this video if you liked it uh make sure you subscribe to this channel i want to help get this channel up to 100 uh, 100 subscribers because youtube won't give you your own url until you have like 100 subscribers so um you know and I'll, I'll plan to do something uh special for that i may do a youtube giveaway when i get to uh 100 subscribers so uh, if you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Also, go follow me over on Twitch. Links to uh, Twitch and the merch store will be down below in the description. So, you know, make sure you go check all that out if you want to help support the channel. You can get some pretty cool looking merch. I showed some of the merch off in the last video. So, definitely go cop that out. I know Mother's Day is coming up. You can get a late Mother's Day present pretty much through the merch store if you if she likes you know gaming and stuff like that you can go and get some stuff like that uh, or get some for yourself you know it's, it's cool but uh a little bit about this gameplay before we end it it came from theater mode i did not expect to do as well as i did on pines i actually rage quit this map a lot because i think this is one of the worst maps there is in this game but i actually did relatively decent it's an fr1 gameplay i was sucking with every other weapon but i switched to this and i ended up doing overall pretty well so yeah definitely um if that's why this gameplay looks a little weird you can't see the enemies names or anything like that that's the reason why is because you don't see the hit markers or anything it, it came from theater mode i don't know why theater mode does it that way it's completely weird but um as this gameplay finishes up uh, I just want to thank everybody who watched the last video of me coming back. Uh, make sure you share this channel on social media. Have your other friends and family check it out. And um, right about the time of this video coming up uh, today, if you go over and watch Twitch, I will be doing a overnight gameplay of Resident Evil Village. So go and check that out. It's going to be a blast. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe and healthy. Peace.